So, I think it's fair to say it is Christmas time. I think that's fair. This is Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke, and today we have the top 10 worst Christmas gifts. So for this list, I thought, shall I just say things like, oh, in at number four, an old sock. It's a really bad gift, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then I thought, well, how about I break down bad Christmas gifts into different types of gifts that we have all received, given, or at least heard about. And a lot of us think they are the worst. So let's get into that now. Coming in at number 10, we have the age inappropriate gift. Have you ever had a relative that gives your little brother, sister, or cousin a gift and everyone else in the room is like, Ooh. It could be something harmless, like a shaving kit for a 12 year old boy, but perhaps it could be something a bit more that's a bit more sexually suggestive, anything to do with maybe drugs or alcohol, even if it is just a joke. The kid will usually be confused and even mentally scarred, and the person who bought the gift will be left just awkwardly smiling at the rest of the family who just want this moment to be over. If you think there's a small chance it might not be an okay gift for a kid, then it might not be an okay gift for a kid. Next up at number nine now, we have expired vouchers. Now some people don't like getting vouchers, others love the freedom that come with them, but I think everyone can agree that expired vouchers are easily one of the worst gifts ever. That's exactly what happened to one Reddit user I found called Sammy Chu, who said that a family member once gave them three free vouchers to a clothes store they didn't like. The deal was five pounds off every 50 pounds they spent. Wow, that sounds like a great deal. Lucky them. The worst part though was the fact that the vouchers expired on the 23rd of December. Unreal. I actually want to give Sammy Chu some vouchers to get a new relative. Next up at number eight, the I already own that gift. Now this one is nobody's fault really, and to be honest, I do feel worse for the person giving the gift than the one receiving it. You put a lot of thought into someone's gift, and suddenly the idea just hits you. It's genius. It's perfect. It's just so them. So you buy it. You wrap it. They open it on Christmas Day, and they're like, oh, I love it. I'll just put it over there with the other one that I own. You were right, the gift was so them, but it was so them that they already bought it for themselves. On the plus side though, it shows you know them really well, and you're like in sync, I guess. Next up at number seven, we have the not so funny gift. I'm gonna call this one. Don't get me wrong, joke gifts can be funny sometimes. I guess, if that's your thing. But I've heard stories about people getting a mankini or a naked apron, and then they're like, oh, okay, very funny, nice. And then that's it. That's the whole gift. That's everything. That's all they're getting. It's not even that they should be grateful or anything. It's the fact that they might wear it for maybe 10 minutes to please the person who bought the joke gift, and then that's it, forever. It never gets used again, bringing no joy to the person who bought it, none to the person who received it, and making the joke gift company start making even more for the next year. Okay, before I start sounding too much like a grumpy old man, let's move on to our number six, the not quite right gift. Everybody has experienced this one before, either on the giving or receiving end of things. One person drops hints about how they would love to get a certain game, or maybe a book, a new phone, or a tablet. They open it up and, uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not quite right. Maybe instead of getting the new Battlefield game, it's a knockoff called Battling Fields. Maybe instead of an iPhone, it's something called a MyPhone, or some strange looking console called the Playbox. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh come on, that's just spoiled of you. You shouldn't expect anything at all, and it's just the thought that counts, right? Well I agree with you, 100%, but it's also pretty rough for the person giving it. You tried to do something nice, you might have spent a fair bit of money on it, and now it's a bit awkward, but still. Nobody needs to be a baby about it, I guess. There are millions of people who don't get a gift at all at Christmas, so that's why this isn't higher on the list. Next up at number five, we have the unwanted animal. We all know the saying, a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. It's a huge responsibility that a person takes on when they get a dog for Christmas. But what if the person never wanted that responsibility in the first place? You have to be 100% sure that the person wants the pet you are buying for them and has the ability to look after it properly. Best case scenario, you buy them a goldfish, I guess. You feed it well, give it a nice bowl of water. Lovely stuff, everything's fine. Worst case scenario though, you buy them a greyhound in their one bedroom apartment. Oh dear. What have you done? If a person drops massive, massive hints about wanting a pet and they can definitely look after it then, 
Okay, think about it, but nobody wants to see a pet unwanted. Moving on to number four, we have any clothing with the current year on it. Some people have t-shirts with the year of a festival they went to on it, fair enough. Some people have them with the year they went to see their favorite band on tour, I get that. But buying someone a piece of clothing with Christmas 2016 on it, really? kind of dates it. Hey, maybe I sound like a grumpy old man here, but I bet there's people out there who agree with me. If you buy somebody some clothing this year that has Christmas 2016 written anywhere on it, then it will be a bit of a waste of money in less than 24 hours. Sure, it might be funny to wear it on the day, but nobody is ever going to wear that again. Nobody's going to be sitting there in 10 years time thinking, you know what? I think I'm going to wear that Christmas 2016 shirt again. Love it. Coming in at number three now, we have the last minute gift. We all know this one. The gift that people buy on the 23rd of December, Christmas Eve itself, or perhaps even at the gas or petrol station on Christmas morning. It's a tragic sight, and it's usually painfully obvious that the gift was bought at the last second too. I have a family member who used to work at a clothing store, and when he was closing the store on Christmas Eve and pulling down the shutter, some guy stopped him by shoving his arm under the shutter with a fistful of money, and he just said, Please give me anything, anything. Obviously looking for some last minute gift for his girlfriend. Don't be that guy, guys. Don't leave it to the last minute. Now to be fair, it's you know better late than never, I guess, but I think better never late than late. Yeah, I'm not very good at making up sayings. Coming in at number two now, we have the I'm too old for this gift gift. This is kind of the opposite of the age inappropriate gift. This one goes out to all the teenagers getting Elmo dolls from their grandma or Dora the Explorer backpacks from their auntie. It can be the worst. Too old for this. Usually they do mean well. It's just been so long since they were your age that they might not even know what your age really means. When you're 15, the difference between you and a seven year old seems absolutely massive, but to a 70 year old, it might be harder to see that difference. So if your granddad ever gets you a Barbie doll on your birthday, just two months before you go to prom, understand they mean well, and they're not being, well, mean. And finally now, at number one, we have the re-gifted gift. Sometimes you get a bad Christmas gift, like any of the ones we've talked about on the list so far. What you do with it next is up to you. You can throw it away if you want, but please don't turn it into the worst gift ever by re-gifting it to someone else you know. Now this happens a lot. Giving a gift to someone is supposed to be a personal thing or something you know you think is valuable. Sometimes a person gets a little gift, they don't really like it, they give it to someone else. Okay, all right, I'll let that one slide. But saving huge gifts from your birthday or the last Christmas and then giving it to someone else and passing it off as your own, come on guys, I know you're better than that. Imagine if we all did that. It will be the same gifts just going round in a cycle every single year. It will be like a Christmas gift human centipede. I hope nobody gets that reference. Well, that was our list of the types of gifts to avoid for all of you watching. This list was just a bit of fun, guys. Obviously, Christmas isn't all about gifts, and obviously, we should be grateful for any gift we get, big or small, even if it is a last minute, out of date voucher for a mankini. Okay, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. If I haven't said it already, have a lovely holiday season wherever you are watching from. My name is Danny Burke, this is Most Amazing Top 10, and I'll see you all soon.